So uh, this is Stephen S. Wynn, and, and just to be real with you, um, I've really been struggling the last few days and, and weeks, especially the last few days. I've been trying to convince a friend of mine, a very good friend of mine, uh, about the importance of seeing God's identity more clearly. Uh, the Bible presents uh, God as an individual um, who is our Heavenly Father. And he has a, an actual son, a real son. That's why the Bible says that God gave his only begotten son. And um, I have discovered in my life the immense importance of seeing the God of the Bible for who he really is. Because when, when it's Jesus abiding in my heart, it's that's God connecting with me through his son Jesus Christ in my heart and so there's no one else there's no one other than Jesus who can abide in me and, and give me the the uh, the joy that I need in life the, the purpose um, the salvation even um, and so I've been I, I've realized that it's it's Christ in me and no one other than Christ uh, that gives me joy and peace and purpose in life. And um, and so I've been trying to convince my friend of this and, and it just seems like he doesn't see the importance of it. He just thinks that he has a different perspective of God than I do. And And so I've just been so supremely frustrated in trying to show him the importance of this. Well, the other day I was on the freeway and someone flashed their he their bright headlights at me and for no apparent reason. And I, oh, it just set me off. I got in behind him and I flashed my brights at him and, and uh, I was trying to bring justice to the situation. I'm trying to defend myself. And um, it was just an ugly, selfish thing. And I realized afterwards that, you know, how selfish it was. I was not allowing God to connect with me through the abiding presence of his son. I kicked Jesus out of my heart at that moment. And um, it, it, it was scary to me because it just happened so, so quickly. It seemed so automatic, like I didn't even have control over it. Now, I know I did, but... At the moment, I just it just overwhelmed me, and I couldn't. It, it seemed like I couldn't do anything about it. Well, I just realized this morning, thinking back on that experience, that when I made that terrible mistake, God did not give up on me. God did not get frustrated with me and say, "Stephen, I'm I'm trying to show you who I am. I'm trying to connect with you through the abiding presence of my Son, and you just don't get it." You won't let me. And, you know, God didn't walk away from me when I did that. And it just amazed me when I thought about the tremendous patience of God toward me. This is what Jesus meant when he said, Love one another as I have loved you. I need to have the same great patience with my friend that God has with me.